If you are a Mac user and you use apps, then this video is for you. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec. It was a bit broad, really, that little introduction. Normally, I try to be a little bit specific about exactly who the video is for, but this video really is for anybody who uses a Mac because I want to tell you about a great way that you can get access to a whole load of really top-notch high-end apps for a really reasonable price. And that is through a subscription service and a sort of app bundle, if you like, through an app called SetApp. And uh, the way it works is you pay a single monthly fee uh, of $9.99. And then for that, you get access to this whole uh, library of uh, apps and as I say these are really top grade apps that I've been using outside of setup for years in any case and uh, basically they have brought all of these developers together uh, to be able to offer their apps through this uh, one single subscription service and what you'll often find is that if you go through to the uh, actual individual websites for the individual apps as well as the uh, the purchase from their site directly, they'll often redirect you to set up anyway because uh, it is a great way to get access to, as I say, all of these uh, interesting and useful applications. So uh, that's what I want to talk to you today. I'm going to show you some of the apps that you can get through it. And uh, then what I will plan to do, or what I will do, <laughs> is also uh, record a number of specific uh, videos about some of the uh, the best apps that I'm using from, the, uh, from Setup uh, that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So without further ado, I'll get straight over into the demonstration to actually show you how it looks. So now I'm sharing my screen and this is the setup app that you have on your Mac. And uh, you don't need it open to actually run the other apps, but this is the way that you sort of browse for it uh, for applications uh, and download them. It's all done within this single application. Think of it a bit like a sort of iTunes, if you like, uh, but for applications, or I suppose it's a bit like an app store really, isn't it? <laughs> but there you go. Uh, so this is uh, sort of the setup app store then. Let's let's call it what it is. <laughs> so over on the uh, right hand side, yeah, the left hand side, uh, I'm getting everything wrong today, aren't I? Please forgive me. <laughs> uh, over on the left hand side, you've got this little uh, menu and then you sort of come into this little explorer uh, splash screen, if you like. Uh, and here you've got uh, some recommended apps based on the other apps that I've used, uh, new arrivals. So new apps that have been added into their catalog and then also recently updated apps. And then we've got some favorites. You can uh, uh, have apps that are favorited. Uh, and why would you have that and not have them just installed on your computer? Well, this is one of the beauties of SetApp is that uh, you can just add apps in and take them off your computer or from within here. And so if there is just some apps that you might use occasionally, uh, so uh, maybe you have some for specific graphics usage, maybe like resizing images, batch resizing or something like that, but you're not going to do it very often. You might want to favorite the app and then just download it when you need to use it and then offload it when you don't to free up some space. Uh, so that's one reason why you can favorite apps. Then there's also a list here of all of the ones that you've got on your Mac currently. Uh, then you can group them by collections as well. So specific groups of apps. And then this is where you come down to the actual store itself and it has the apps grouped into different categories. So that is what we'll look at first. So if I click on all apps here, you can see it's literally, as you might guess, just all of the apps. Now I'll just flick through this so that you can see just how many there are in here. It is over 200. Uh, so this is just a way to visualize what that looks like. <laughs> uh, but you may have noticed some uh, sort of familiar icons in there if you've been using the, the Mac for any amount of time. But also they've got them uh, grouped here by different categories. Oh, and you can also just search for an app in the top if you know which one you're looking for as well. So uh, let me have a look first. I'll just come down this little list of categories. So we've got lifestyle. Uh, so there's a few in here, different uh, things like VPN. There's a couple of bloggers there. Uh, Downy, this is one of the first ones that I'm actually going to cover in one of my uh, little videos about specific apps. So Downy is a great app for downloading content, video content from uh, any website really uh, and it comes with a, a Safari plugin and a plugin for Chrome and other browsers as well uh, and just allows you to basically take any video off that's been embedded in any website uh, and lots of other great features that come with that as well so that will be the first one that I will release probably uh, later today or tomorrow and then yet yeah, lots of other apps and as you can see they're just uh, 
all grouped here. These are all the lifestyle ones. And if I go into uh, creativity, so this is a good one for uh, looking at different sort of color palettes and things like that. Uh, lots of camera effects, things like this in here as well. Uh, ones for creating glyphs, for icons and so on. Uh, and again, these may be sort of familiar uh, familiar names to uh, some of you who are working in the creativity space with graphics and things like that. Uh, Pixel Snap is another good one. I'll be doing a video all about that, which is good for measuring uh, on-screen graphics. So if you've done any sort of graphic design, web design, uh, this, these are common tools that you will sometimes need. Uh, this is a great sketching program. So I have that for the iPad, but also on the desktop as well. And when you use it with a sidecar or with an iPad as a second monitor, it's a great uh, uh, drawing program. Uh, I should point out as well that uh, you can see the, which ones I have. So if you've got the app actually installed, you can just open it there. But if there's another one here you want to uh, download, it's simply a case of clicking the uh, install button and it will just download it and install it straight onto your computer. Uh, so that's how easy it is. Then we've got developer tools. So lots of ones in here to do with uh, coding and things like that, uh, different coding environments. Uh, and yet yeah, some of these are duplicated so if they're related to like this one we just saw it in the creativity space but it's also part of the developer tools because developing apps you'd need to know the dimensions of on-screen elements and things like that but it just means that they're all uh, grouped together quite nicely rapid weaver that is another one for uh, creating websites without coding uh, personally i was always a coder myself but there you go <laughs> uh, it is a popular application nonetheless uh, productivity so we've got some great ones in here for uh, focused uh, time so that's a bit like the Pomodoro technique I believe that sort of counter uh, busy Cal busy contacts uh, two great apps there so like I say I've got uh, a lot of these apps already that I had pre-installed that I'd actually bought uh, before I uh, discovered or before set app was around and I've been using some of them for as I say over a decade and uh, yeah, really good apps. Default folder is a different, uh, an alternative to the uh, Max Finder uh, with some extra functionality in there. Uh, I did try that one out at some point, but I ended up coming back to the uh, the Finder because of uh, having multiple Macs. I just found having things uh, consistent across all of them was uh, was easier, but still it has got some good uh, features in there. So I think you're getting the impression there is really a lot of great apps. Bartender, I think couldn't really live on my Mac without my bartender. That's the one that I have up in the top that uh, organizes my menu bar. And so I can split things down into uh, uh, basically you have an extra area where you can store all of your little menu bar icons, the ones that you don't have space for in your main menu bar. So uh, that is a great app. And uh, incidentally, I did do uh, a video all about my top five uh, menu bar apps, specifically for people who are either live streaming or producing video content as I'm doing in, in a sort of live production environment, uh, as in uh, recording it direct to your computer. So uh, I'll leave a link to that video up in the top corner and down in the description as well, uh, because all of the apps that I talked about on there were actually set up apps as well. So you can get them all through uh, set up. Next, we have a writing and blogging section. So uh, Mars Edit, I've been using that for over a decade for uh, blogging on various different platforms. Uh, that's a way to uh, actually do your blogging in uh, on the Mac and then it just posts it out to whichever your wherever your blogs happen to be. Uh, what else we've got in here? Ulysses, that is another good uh, writing program. Personally, I've still been using Scrivener. I've been using Scrivener for years uh, for writing, but uh, Ulysses is also a great option. And that one also comes with uh, an iOS app. And I should point out that there is a section down here for uh, all of the apps where there is an iOS version as well, because you do get access to the iOS version so that it can work with uh, the apps that you've downloaded from here. And then we've got some other sections. I'll just quickly flick through them. Education. So you've got things like here for uh, mind mapping and things like that. MindNode. I've been a user of MindNode for a long time on the Mac and on the uh, iPad. So as you can see, it's not listed as uh, installed here. That's because I already have it installed from uh, before I used uh, uh, set app. So uh, I would say all in all, if I come up to my uh, my uh, on this Mac, it shows me that I've got how many apps here. Uh, is that about 16, 17, 18, something like that? Uh, but I would say I've probably got another 20 of these apps that I use uh, pretty frequently that I just happen to have bought before I got set up. So at some point, I'll probably just bring them all into set up. And uh, uh, every time I have to make an update, I'll just uh, not do the update. I'll just download the latest version from here. And that is the other great thing about this is that 
with this single flat uh, subscription fee of $9.99 a month, uh, you do actually get access to all of the updates. So you know that uh, you're always going to be up to date on this whole uh, collection of apps. And uh, as I say, there's quite a lot of them there. So one thing I've got to do now is actually tell you how to get hold of this, haven't I? So if you go over to takeonetech.io slash set app, that's S-E-T-A-P-P, uh, then that'll take you through to the set app site and you'll be able to sign up for a two week free trial. And if you use my code, then after the free trial, if you decide to go ahead with setup, then you can uh, get a free month by using this link. And just full disclosure, part of their referral program is that I also get a free month as well. So if you use this link and then sign up, you'll get a free month and I'll get a free month as well. So everybody wins. <laughs> but uh, this isn't about the referral links. It is all about the actual apps, because as I say, this they're things that I use day in, day out anyway. So I hope you have found that useful. And uh, if you want to hold off on taking action, then don't worry, because I have uh, got a whole series of videos planned, as I say, that are all about uh, setup and specific apps that I'm using from that. So maybe you might want to check out some of those and see if you really uh, like the apps that you can get. The other thing I should point out is that it is a great way to actually try out a whole load of apps. So you could go and have a look at the catalog of apps that they've got in setup and uh, download the trial and then you'd get to try out all of these other apps for two weeks as well. And uh, maybe you feel like setup is not for you. You maybe don't want another subscription, uh, but you will have got to try out those apps and then you can go and maybe buy the odd app that you do did like out of it. So in any case, there's a few options there. And if you have, have found this useful, then please like and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you get notified whenever I make any new videos. And if you know any other Mac users who may benefit from this sort of content, then do also share the videos and channel with them as well. <laughs> but in the meantime, I will uh, create that playlist all about setup and I shall leave it just down here at the uh, bottom right. Uh, and until the next video, I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day.